Sports News Time, and here's Charles Eruka. Welcome to Sports News. Rewards keep pouring in for pupils of African Church Primary School, Ogun State, on their victory of the Ninth Channels Kids Cup International Edition. The Ogun State Governor, Bikula Musun, has promised the kids the sum of one million naira to motivate them. He made the promise after a formal presentation of their trophy to him at the governor's office in Abeokuta, the state capital. Governor Amosun also asked them not to neglect their studies as they also strive to develop their sporting abilities. I think I, I'm going to add one million to it. But what you have done is beyond money. I am happy that you have done this, we have put Ogun State on that national and even world uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So you should, number one, face your studies. Even if you know how to play this ball very well, if you are not very educated, then it's not good. So Proud governor rewards are the Channel's Cup, Kids Cup champions. Now, on a sad note, the elephants of Cote d'Ivoire midfielder Sheikh Tiote has died after collapsing during training with his Chinese club side Beijing Enterprises. Tiote was part of the Ivorian squad that won the 2015 African Cup of Nations. He made over 150 appearances for Newcastle United in seven years. The 30-year-old joined second-tier side Beijing Enterprises in February for an undisclosed fee. And Africa's remaining representatives at the FIFA Under-20 World Cup Zambia have crashed out at the quarter-final stage of the tournament in Korea Republic. The 10-man Italian side beat Zambia 3-2 after extra time in a thrilling encounter to advance to the semi-finals. With the game tied 2 all, an extra time goal was needed to separate both sides. And in the 110th minute, two substitutes combined to score the winning goal Frederico De Marco's corner kick found Luca Vido eight yards from goal and he headed in from close range to send the Italians to their first ever under 20 World Cup semi final. In tennis, Britain's Andy Murray earlier today produced a clinical performance to see of Russian Karen Kachanov and reach a seventh French Open quarter final. The world number one came through 636464 to claim his 650th tour level victory in two hours and four minutes. The Scot, aged 30, goes on to face Japan's Kei Nishikori in the last eight. Game set and match on sports news, and is back to Ladi with the rest of the news at 10. Thank you, Charles. Moving on to foreign news now. Qatar has been isolated by other Gulf countries following accusations by Saudi Arabia that it was sponsoring groups such as the Islamic State. That accusation has caused countries such as Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Egypt, Yemen, Libya's eastern-based government, and the Maldives to withdraw diplomatic support for Qatar. The Saudi news agency says Riyadh has also closed its borders, severing land, sea, and air contact with the country. The rift has also caused reactions economically. Time for the entertainment news of tonight. Nollywood actress Judith Audu hosts the red carpet premiere of her second production, Stormy Hearts. Maya Gudele has details. Many thanks. Here are your trending entertainment stories. Actor turned lawmaker Desmond Elliott is working on another movie titled Love Diamond, starring Femi Jacobs, Rosimi Salami, Enado Dige, and reality TV star Liliana Fegbai. Produced by Austin Wole, the movie follows the travails of a businessman and his protégés in their quest to rise above earlier disappointment in the pursuit of success. Who's this shot, sir? Ladies, yes. A group of Nollywood actors. Actors led by Sapphire Ogodo have joined forces on a forthcoming project, Actors Unleashed, a reality TV series seeking to groom new talent for the industry.
And Nollywood actress come filmmaker Judith Audu is riding on the success of her debut production, Just Not Married, as she leads the cast and crew of a second movie titled Stormy Hearts to its premiere. The movie, a musical directed by Tokwe Alake, stars Roti Misalami, who won AMVC Best Supporting Actor for his role in Just Not Married, Teresa Edem, Eddie Watson, Fred Amata, Kelechi Udebe, and Gregory Ojefua, amongst yeah. others. That's it from me. Thank you for watching. The main news returns shortly. And the main news again. Acting President Yemi Oshibajo today read the Riot Act to banks and financial institutions who engage in illicit financial flows, saying they must face the consequences. That's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks for being with us. My name is Ladia Kiridulwale. Good night.